Hello and welcome back to this week's episode. I'm doing a comparison from this year's energy bills with the heat pump and last year's energy bills with the gas boiler. So this week's episode after that England game, this week's episode will be nice and clean. Anyway, let's go. But first, before I do that, um, just been marveling the sun, the weather is absolutely brilliant. And I am situated, can you see behind me, this is a northwest facing um, roof. And there is a bit of sun there and even on top of the house. So really, really contemplating um, getting solar and getting this evening sun. It's about seven o'clock now and the sun is still out. Anyway, welcome back to this episode and let's compare. The bill, I'm just going to show you the bill before I move it across into an Excel spreadsheet to make it easier to read and to see the numbers and how to compare last year's bill with um, or with this, this month. This is our second month, 24. So this is my electricity bill. As you can see, I was charged 180 pounds um, with a average speed, um, charge of 13p 46 pence per kilowatt because of the nitrate so on the nitrate i used 791.5 and in during the day 380 so as you can see here the recharge day rate is 26.61p and 7.14p standing charge at 45p a day so this is my bill from the 10th of may until the 9th of june so i'll transfer this information to the spreadsheet but before i do that i'll or last year's recharge as well right so this is when i was on a very sweet charge this was about 5p nitrate but it was for four hours and 13p during the day so i was on that for a long long while while everybody's bills were a little bit higher mine were still low you know i'm talking last year may when i started feeling the pinch so i've got a split bill here 10th of may until the 26th of may when the charges changed so i was paid i was charged 45p 45 pounds I'll, I'll love it to be 45p 45 pounds for the first part of the bill and another you can see the difference here you know i used 468 kilowatt hour um, in 17 days and in 14 days i used 420 but the amount is double 104.26 it's almost more more than double because everything changed I was now on 39.67p per kilowatt hour during the, the day and 7.14 per kilowatt hour off peak. So the, the, this is when we start to feel, you know, um, the, the changes really. So the total bill for that period, which is the 10th of May until the 9th of June 2023 was 147 pound 70p for the electricity and the gas recharge was 68 pounds 48 again you know we are moving into uh, warmer weather at that time surely so we're using less of the gas um, the gas boiler but the recharge look at that recharge it was 11p almost 12p although we did have an energy price guarantee from the government it made it a bit more uh, slightly cheaper by 12 pence 12 pounds so it was really really those prices were really really crazy price so i will transfer this to an excel spreadsheet here we go so this is my current bill in 2024 as you can see there in 2024 therefore i was charged 180 pounds 40 pence my average was 13p you know this is my current bill 
last month and this was the bill the 147 the split bill you know the cheaper bill there and the most expensive so the total uh, electricity consumption charge was 147.70 pence then we add a bit of gas there the gas which was 68 48 it comes up to 216 pounds 18p so if i look at that and compare that straight away you would one would say ah it's cheaper with a heat pump than with a gas boiler but we have to compare like for like so i'll use this information and recharge at current prices and see you know if it was going to be cheaper or it was going to be more so the comparison is down here so i'm not going to change anything for this current month because that's the recharge there and comparison is i used 889.4 kilowatt hours at the average rate of 13 pence it comes up to 119 then the standing charge is 14 which is 14 pounds 13 there the total electricity bill would have been 133 pounds then if i add gas so i'm comparing you know like for like if i add a bit of gas in today's prices gas has now come down slightly i used an average of 5p per kilowatt i, I didn't include the you know standing charge and all that i just used 5p then the gas recharge will be 29 pounds 38 pence therefore my total bill if i still had my gas boiler my total bill would be 163 pounds 22 pence therefore like for like it was cheaper with the gas boiler electricity with with the uh, heat pump is 180 40 and without a heat pump i am 17 pounds 18 pence more therefore i would have saved money if i had remained on a gas boiler and electricity there so there you are thank you very much for watching this week's episode please do subscribe on this journey i'll try to be as candid as possible uh, with these figures and show you exactly so if anyone is thinking of you know uh moving to a heat pump these are the recharges so it all depends why you are doing it are you happy to pay 17 pounds more in in like for like or you know you rather stay with your gas boiler for me i've stated my reasons on the video before so if you want to know the reasons why i changed to a gas boiler please do watch my previous videos. I've got a video, I think three weeks ago or two weeks ago, I did a video about that. Do subscribe to the channel. There's more videos coming on, on how I'm getting on with the heat pump and how, you know, comparing like for like. I'm also looking to get solar. I am uh, thinking, I'm looking at the numbers as well. So I'll leave those reasons again on this channel. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye.